Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can add rig to a Spider-Man character using Rigify add-on that comes with Blender itself. So hope you guys will find that tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way, if you like short 3D simulation videos, you can check out my second channel link in the description. Okay. So now without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here you can see I'm using Blender 2.93, nice. So now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So now let's import our Spider-Man character. So here I have downloaded this Spider-Man character from Sketchfab, download link in the description. So go to this file, import, it is an object file. So select this wavefront obj and select your character and import obj. So here you can see we got our Spider-Man character here. So if I move on to this material viewport, you can see it got the texture also which is nice okay so now let's add a rig to this character so for that we will be using rigify that comes with the blender itself so we need to enable that so in order to enable that go to this edit preferences come to this add-ons and look for rigify so by default it will be unchecked enable it and save those preferences and we can close that so now come to this add armature select this human meta rig just click on that so here you can see we got the rig here but it is a bit large in size when compared to the character so now we need to reduce the scaling of this rig so in order to reduce the scaling of the rig we need to do that in edit mode don't do that in object mode so let's shift to this edit mode here and now we can reduce the scaling of the rig so press s on the keyboard and reduce the scaling so it is reducing that scale with the center axis here like pivot point is here so we don't want that to happen we want that scaling to happen from this baseline so at the 3d cursor so for that we need to change this to 3d cursor and now if you reduce the scaling press s so now we can say it is reducing from that pivot point so for example if your cursor is somewhere around here it is not at this point so press shift s and select this cursor to world origin it comes to that point okay so now we can reduce the scaling of that so match the scaling of the rig to the character okay nice so now let's move on to this edit mode and select the rig here come to this object data properties come to this viewport display enable this in front option so that we will get this rig visible at the front of the character nice so here in this rig we don't want this facial bones and also we don't want this breast bones here so we can delete them so in order to delete the bones again we need to move on to this edit mode okay so now press 3 for side view and let me select this face bones here like this and press delete bones fine so here we don't want this ear bones also so let me show you one thing so press n on the keyboard tool enable this x axis mirror so if we delete one side automatically the other side of bones will be deleted okay so we don't want these breast bones also select one and delete them okay nice so now we need to adjust this rig according to this character so let's do that so let me want this object mode once again press one on the keyboard for front view okay so here we will have another bone so if i enable this x-ray option you can see we got a bone here inside this large bone so we need to delete that one so move on to this edit mode select this bone select this small bone here and delete that bone also so make sure you delete that bone or else we will not get that rig established at the end so after that let's place these bones as per the character so select this press z and let me place this here shoulder bones this elbow press g let me place this here and let me select this hand and let me place this here okay so now press 7 on the keyboard for top view so try to match in all the perspectives here so let it be here let this bone be here and hand let this be here okay so here we need to adjust these fingers so let's do that so select these fingers here and 
Hold Shift key, select Z. Let me change this to median point. Okay, press R, rotate Z, and let me place this here. So here you can see while we are adjusting these fingers on this left hand side, automatically this right hand side will be enabled. Okay, so this is due to this X axis mirror option. Make sure to enable this one while you are adjusting the bones. Okay, so now let me finish this all the fingers here. So we have adjusted these fingers here. So let me see on the other side. So now this side is also aligned properly. Okay. So now we need to adjust these bones here. So let me place this. Press 7 on the top view. So let me place this collar bones here. Okay. So press 1 for front view. And let me adjust this knee bones. Let me place this here. Place this ankle and let me place this bone here and this bone. Let me place this here. Press three for side view and let me place this at the so here you can see we have adjust the bones as per our character. Okay, so now we can move on to this object mode. Fine, so let me disable this x ray mode. So now select this rig. Come to this object data property, scroll down and click on this generate rig. So here you can see we got our rig here. So now we need to parent this rig to our character. So for that first select this mesh of our character and select this rig that is generated. Now press Ctrl plus P and select this automatic weights option. Just click on that and now we can hide out this rig. So let me hide out this rig. Okay. So now if I select this hip joint. So let me move on to this pose mode first. And let me select this hip one. And you can see our rig is working fine. So this is okay. So let me check this head. Let me rotate this here. So this is fine. And let me select this hand. And this is fine. Press G and move it here. And let me place this here. Okay. Let me select this foot, press G. So here you can see this is working nice. And let me select this one and press G. And also this is working nice. So in this way we can create rig for Spider-Man character or any other character easily in Blender using Rigify add-on. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new, please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.